All right, we're going to do some initial programming for our Vex Dragster. The reason I say initial is we're going to need to do some troubleshooting and make some modifications uh, to determine what's going to be the right program uh, for this activity. If you remember, you have to traverse a distance of 20 feet. Uh, the closer to 20 feet, the better, and the faster you can do it. Uh, the better your performance is as well. As well. So I'm going to kind of start this as, at the top because it does seem like when we've got to open these programs that we're missing some of these basic concepts. So this should be a good basic review of using Robot C as well as setting up that first program for testing your dragster. Again, like I said, you're going to have to go back and make some changes. So remember when you're looking at uh, Robot C stuff on your desktop, you want Robot C 4.0 for VEX Robotics. So I'm going to go ahead and open that as if it's the first time I was doing that. And we'll wait for some things to pop open. Uh, I might need to maximize some things here, so let me do that. I don't know why they're minimized here. And remember, uh, don't ever download any new versions. So sometimes when you open some things up, you're going to see some recent files here. That's not important at this point. Uh, what you should always do is check your platform in the very beginning. Make sure it is 2.0 and natural language or natural language PLTW. That way you have all the correct menus when you go to expand those. To start a new program, remember there is a template in, under open sample program if you go into that menu uh, you're going to be given several options you're looking for PLTW and you're looking for PLTW template so some of you I saw you would start out you would go file new and then you would just have this task main stuff uh, you're missing things for project title team members task description and pseudocode so I saw that as an issue yesterday I wanted to make sure that there was clarity on that. So once we're to this point, we're going to want to do a save as. Preferably save it in your shared folder or on the desktop. And you can call it Drag Race. Because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to go as fast as you can in a set distance. We'll go ahead and save that. Now remember, uh, fill in the pertinent information here. So team members, I'm doing this on my own, although I did have somebody try out my car yesterday. Whoops, I put that in the wrong spot. So team members, I'll just put my last name for now. Project title is going to be Vex Drag Race. And then our current date is the 7th of November 2017. Does it allow me to put that many characters in? No. So we will just do 11, 7, 17. Ah, I'm really messing things up, aren't I? That's what I get for doing this late in the day. Section. I'll just call this period 5, because that's my planning period. Okay, task description. Task description is go as fast as you can for 20 feet. Simple, right? Should be able to figure that out. So, we are going to do an Intel bump. Start both motors. We are going to do a wait. And then we will stop both motors. Now, if you want us to stop quicker, I'm going to show you an example here in a little bit, depending on where we're at with time. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to expand natural language, movement, wait and expand Intel. So, we've been using Intel Bump. We've been having good luck with that, so we're going to stick with that. We're going to do two start motors. Start motor. 
start motor. We're going to do a wait, and then we're going to do two stop motors. Stop motor and stop motor. So some people get to this point, and they're not sure uh, what we're going to put in here for the black text. Remember, we haven't set up our motors and sensors yet. We have two motors and a button. Uh, based upon what our construction guidelines were. So let's start with motors. We're going to do uh, VEX 393 and ports 1 and 10 because those do not need a motor controller. So we'll try and keep this fairly basic. Uh, remember when you put those in as values, you need to capitalize the second word. I don't know why, but that's what they told me in training. We'll apply that, and then we'll go to our digital sensors. We're using one touch sensor, and this is going to be our push button, capital B, for the second word. And we'll apply that, and now we can hit OK. There's our motor and sensor shows up at the top. Our project title, team members, date, section. Our task description to go as fast as you can for 20 feet. And until bump, that's the first line of our code. We're going to start both motors. There's two of them there. We're going to wait. The wait's going to depend upon how long it takes it to go 20 feet. So we're going to have to do some trial and error. And then we're going to stop both motors. So, sensor port. Do you remember what this is? Push button. So, we're going to put that one in. Delay time. Uh, in milliseconds, I always put one. You could put something longer if you were worried about what was going on there. Motor port. We're going to do right motor. So the first one, kind of like when we did test bed. I forgot the key. And we're going to do left motor for the second one. Not capitalized. Speed, as fast as we can. Full speed is 127, but we don't know if that's going to decrease the torque too much, depending on how extreme we got with gear ratios. So we're just going to have to download it and see and make some modifications. Uh, since I'm going so fast, I'm going to do a wait time at at five. So these should, if, if they're facing opposite directions, they should rotate in the same direction. But I don't know if I have my values in the right place. I don't know if right motor should be negative or positive until I try it. Might be a good idea to kind of hold it up in the air and run the program first. Might be. So right motor and left motor. We have to tell them both of them to stop because robots aren't that smart. Now, let's compile this and see if we have any red X's. So, this is a valid program. It's ready to go. Something we could do, if you run this program and you see that it coasts a little bit, if you remember in the task description, it says try and stop it uh, as quick as you can. Something you might want to do, maybe copy this block here and throw those motors in reverse for maybe just half a second. Uh, it'd be kind of like throwing the brakes on. But let's, let's not do that right now. Let's save that for another time. So what's important at this point is that we do a file save we've already done a save as, we just need to do a file save, and this is ready to download. So for our next class period, we're gonna, I'm going to download this for you, we're going to do some troubleshooting, we're going to look at what some of the problems are, and then see what kind of modifications uh, we need to make so that it fits our criteria better for traveling as fast as it can in 20 feet. Maybe it's going crooked, maybe I need to change the motor speeds on one side, um, maybe it's not stopping fast enough. If I need to go longer distance, I'm going to have to increase my wait time. Shorter distance, decrease my wait time. Uh, there's only one way to determine this, and this is to download the actual program. So, 
hopefully you're getting this figured out. And until next time, good luck.